I want to talk to you guys today about one reason why your style may not actually be improving. And if this is a mindset that you don't get out of, the reality is it's never going to improve either. All right, so here's the thing that I see going on a lot, whether it's from audiences or from creators, so much of the conversation about style, so much of the conversation about what you should or shouldn't be wearing, it's all limited to this really, really simple sphere of tactics and examples. And the problem is, is if all you focus on are tactics and examples, then you're never going to actually be able to adapt once you get side of that. Now, this is a way of thinking that exists in any sort of strategic approach to life, whether that's chess or the military or business or anything else. You need to think all the way from the very most simple execution of tactics you get up into objectives and missions and strategies and goals and all these other variables because if you're not thinking about the big picture then you're losing out and you're screwed as soon as the mission changes or as soon as circumstances change and those tactics are no longer applicable okay so let's think about it from this perspective you start a business and you want to be able to help people dress better right we'll just go with that because that's something that i know if the only thing that I ever focused on were the goal of running a YouTube channel, because as you guys know, the YouTube channel and what I do here with these videos, this is only part of running a business. I have courses, I have online sites, I have Instagram, I have other components of this business, other goals that all contribute upward into the successful running of the business itself. So let's get it down to the goal or the mission of a successful YouTube channel. Now within that, there are specific strategies. I post on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I own a video camera. I know how to upload to YouTube. I have Final Cut Pro and I know how to edit videos. And even those have their own little tactics that are built in. I do a triple clap to get my audio synced up so that I know that things are going to line up between my audio and my video because they're recorded separately. That's a tactic. But if my goal changes because I'm no longer recording my audio and my video separately, then this tactic becomes irrelevant. And my focusing on it or thinking that that tactic is the only way to have a successful YouTube channel or a successful business sounds pretty stupid, right? Well, that's the exact same thing that so many men do when it comes to style. We get way too focused and way too bogged down in the mire of tactics. You should wear this color with that color. You should only wear this hat in that situation. You should or shouldn't wear these shoes with those pants. Ugh. I mean, all of those tactics are applicable when they're used to accomplish the right goal. But if you don't even know what the goal is, if you don't even know what the mission is or the objective is, if you don't know what you're trying to accomplish, then the tactics being your master is absolutely stupid. It's stupid because they are not an end unto themselves. Being able to say that you know how to tie the right knot for your collar is really pretty dumb and really pretty useless unless you know what you're trying to accomplish. Are you trying to accomplish symmetry and having the right balance between where your tie and your collar sit? Are you trying to accomplish a little bit of rebellion? And are you trying to accomplish rebellion or symmetry because that falls within your archetype and the story you're trying to tell? Are you trying to fit in with the crowd? Are you trying to stand out from the crowd? Are you trying to improve your life from all these different angles? And if you don't know the answer to those questions, then why in the world do you think that it matters what kind of tie knot you use with what shape of collar? It's the dumbest thing to focus on if you can't see things from 30,000 feet up. You now, I know that not everybody is wired that way. That's why there are certain people who are destined to be soldiers and there are certain people who can aspire to be generals. There's certain people who will always be the teller at the credit union and there will be people who will be the ones running the business. That's fine. And I think that's a good thing. I think that if you're one who's wired to be on the front line or you're wired to be middle management or anything else, don't think that you need to aspire to be more. The world doesn't need everybody to be an entrepreneur and running your own thing and being somebody who thinks 30,000 feet up is not the only way to attain happiness. But if you don't understand that perspective, don't criticize 
or attack or correct those who do. And if you are wired that way, if you do have the disposition to think about things from this high up, don't think about just your business or just your family relationships or just anything in that context. Think about it all and certainly think about your style in that context. It's the whole reason that masculine style, that this channel exists. My whole thing that I'm trying to get you guys to do, and so many of you are so good at it, is to think about things from 30,000 feet up, to think about the goal and the mission and the objective and the strategy, and then you can think about the tactics. Then you become the master of the tactic instead of being a slave to it. Then you don't have to make comments like, this is to that, or this doesn't fit here, or your tie is too short, or your collar fits wrong, or that guy's style is dumb. Because if you can actually understand that maybe, maybe this guy has a different objective than you do, and maybe the tactics that he's employing are actually helping him get to that objective, which is contributing to the mission, which is helping him attain his goals, then you can try and get things from his perspective and see that maybe he's telling the exact story that he wants to tell. Maybe, instead of sitting here thinking from a limited, tactical, only a pro, well, that's not one of the five shoes that I was told I must wear this spring. You know what? I don't really care what five pairs of shoes you're told you're supposed to wear this spring because are you Amish? Because then your five shoes are gonna be different. Are you in the military? Are you trying to date? Or are you trying to land a job? I mean, what, what is the goal? What is the goal? And then you can figure out on what your clothing is gonna do to help you accomplish the goal. That's another one of the reasons why this whole idea of cosplay is so stupid. When I hear things like I never walk outside without wearing a hat, my immediate response is, what are you trying to accomplish? That's my question. Because if you're trying to accomplish that you understand the rules of etiquette, you're not accomplishing that goal because those rules don't exist anymore. They don't. And so what you're communicating is that you don't know what you're trying to accomplish or that you're so beholden to a set of tactics, you're gonna stand by them regardless of whether or not the goal and the mission have changed. It really is akin to an elementary level of understanding of simple things like English. Like if you were to try to tell somebody that is in third grade about how to spell properly, they're gonna give you rules like, I before E, always. Whenever you're spelling a word, I always comes before E. And maybe they're not at the point where they can understand that actually English, the way that it's written, is trying to help you get your head around the sounds. And there are certain exceptions, like except after C, or in sounding like A, as in neighbor or way, or when it's become confused or combined with words from other languages because those goals and tactics superseded the phonetic and you were trying to actually just get it to be easier for people to understand who come from these other lingual backgrounds. If you can see all of that, then all of a sudden you don't have to sit here and follow these arbitrary rules, which don't get me wrong, are super helpful, but they're only helpful as long as you understand that there's more to it than that. If the rules serve you instead of you serving the rules, then your relationship is right. But if you can only think about it from that perspective of rules and tactics, you're screwed. Your style's never gonna improve. It's never going to accomplish the goal that you want it to. Or if it does, then you're screwed because at some point, your goal is gonna change. If you're 20 and all you wanna do is find the right outfit to get laid, you have a certain set of tactics that you need to follow. But if you get married and you're not trying to troll for chicks on Friday nights, then your goals change. Or if you're a dad, or if you're no longer trying to climb the corporate ladder, but you're trying to attract clients because you run your own business, or you're trying to attract VCs because you're part of a startup, or you're 50 years old and you're no longer trying to look youthful and your rebellion becomes a liability instead of an, I mean, you, <laughs> you just have to think about things from that perspective. I want you guys to think about your style from that perspective. If you do, it'll always, 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 serve you. If you don't, then maybe you'll get lucky every once in a while. But as they say, even a broken clock is right two times a day. So yeah, just because your style lines up with what your goals are right now, if you don't understand, I, I'm a broken record at this point. You guys know what I'm saying. I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this. What have you done to get yourself out of the mindset of tactics to goals? 
if you're still in this mindset of tactics, how do you get out of that mindset and start focusing on goals? What are your hangups on doing that? So leave me a comment below. Can't wait to hear from you guys on this one and I will talk to you guys on the next video.